Another twist in what has been a strange sports year, if nothing else. It is just flat out weird being in front of an NFL stadium right before kickoff. We have some Cardinal fans right outside the fence hoping to get some in-person view of NFL football, a stadium in Seattle that today goes by a new name. 2020 once again reminding us that change is the only constant. Oh, they're changing the name? Yeah, it's going to be Lumen Field. Lumen? Yes, CenturyLink Field, the home of the Seahawks and Sounders, officially going by the name Lumen Field, a corporate rebranding for CenturyLink who secured the naming rights through 2033. If they keep playing the way it's going, I'd call it the Toilet Bowl. Social media not too happy either. Fans brainstorming for nicknames. How about the Loom? And yes, of course, the Lou. But whatever you call it, the stadium formerly known as the Clink, at least to fans, will host another fanless home game. A big one at that, as the Hawks find themselves in a three-way tie for first in the NFC West. A game that season ticket holder Dave Williams wishes, like so many others, that he could see in person. I understand it, but I want to get to a game. I wish they would just open it up like some of the stadiums to let a few of us in so that we can, they can hear us cheering and stuff. Meanwhile, inside the newly named stadium from Sky King, a view of work crews starting to change the signage. A big job that should be complete before the start of the 2021 season. One that we all hope will be ready to welcome fans in person, no matter what the stadium may be called. I know, I know, I know. Change is hard, made even harder when uh, you realize that that fan noise is just being pumped into the stadium here. But in Seattle, we've had experience. We've done this before. Key Arena has a new name. Safeco Field has a new name. CenturyLink Field now has a new name. Back to you.